I started the West Virginia Comedy Festival, but when you say it like that, it's like I, st I picked a fight. I started it. When Steve Goff was still with us as the head of our Fearless Fools, our comedy troupe, uh, we looked around and there was no West Virginia Comedy Festival. And both of us are kind of guys that if it's not here, you know, why can't we start it? We started with a modest festival and now it's grown to, to something a little bit bigger than I think either one of us imagined it could be. In the beginning, the comedy festival was was small and intimate. It was it was just you know a couple hundred people each night or a hundred people each night. So now we've got this bigger venue. A lot of people are coming to it, so we're getting a lot more coverage, which is really important for comedy. The comedy scene has changed a lot through with the help of the comedy festival because it connects the people from the various parts of the state. People should come to the West Virginia Comedy Festival because there's really nothing else like it in the state. It offers so much. Um, the, you know, kind of to the art scene in the state, the comedy scene in the state, um, and it really is just an awesome, an awesome venue for people to come and show off what they got going on. It's something different than going to the movies too, so I kind of like that about it as well. Uh, my goal, my main goal for the comedy festival in the future is for it not to end. Uh, uh, 2017 was a super successful festival, and. Uh, you know, we just have to continue to try and push the envelope and top it because now, I think for the really for the first time, we have people that are at the festival that are from North Carolina and Ohio and, and Pennsylvania and uh, from beyond the borders of West Virginia. And because we basically only do West Virginia talent here, suddenly this is a, a launching pad for, you know, young comedians and West Virginia comedians that are being seen by people from all over the country. The level of talent has gone down. I mean, it's been really awful this year. It's just, it's, it's a shame, you know, but at least I'm here, so maybe I can salvage it. <laughs>